What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. Uh, real quick, I was looking for this tank, not this one, the Volt Voltrov? The Voltron? Who knows who Voltron is? I bet you, if you know who Voltron is, you know you are old as shit right now. Well, maybe not old as shit. You're about the same age as me, which I feel like shit, and I'm old, so I'm old as shit. But the Voltrov is a 41 millimeter, and I believe that is the same company that makes the Modfather. A lot of people confuse that with Vaporgate, who makes the Mason and the Dump Tank. Well, I couldn't find the stainless steel version just because it's been out forever in the Voltrov rendition, and I was just like, fuck it, I'll settle. That's not saying that I'm settling for something that's less, it's just that I couldn't find that, so I had to get something else that was extremely large. I figured that it just makes sense for me to get something large. Notice I left the whole blank sentence afterwards, because my reviews have become where I start to say something, and you finish it for me. I gotta go... You probably said take a poop. That's right. You nailed it. That's exactly what I was gonna say, is I gotta go take a poop. What we are looking at is the Mason dump tank upside down. You know how we roll. You know you've been around with me for a minute if you remember me having like a whole month of this issue. That's what we're looking at. This is the limited edition. There it is, right there on the bottom. Little calligraphic, calligraphy script, script is what that is. Black limited edition. This tank is huge, guys. Like this is, I think you could fit like 116 mils in this. Basically, it'd be the same thing as putting a 510 on the bottom of a bleach bottle, not bleach, but a gallon jug, filling it up with juice, putting a coil in it. That's what I'm gonna work on. I know someone, I have some really creative ass fans that I feel like they're gonna try to recreate that Nick Fingerton. I actually wanna give a huge shout out to a gentleman in the Wicks and Coils Facebook group. If you're not a part of that group, I'll provide a link down below to that group. Yeah, it's mine, but you know what? It's not just about me, it's about you. Guys, I'm not being dramatic. I think you could fit 16 mils of juice inside of this. I don't really have a juice that I just want to throw away 16 mils to. So without further ado, let's bring this down. I'm going to show you this fucking thing. I'm just going to flip the mod. Okay. So without further ado, let's flip it. This is what we're looking at, guys. The Mason dump tank. This is made by Vaporgate, the 40 millimeter rendition. They also have this in a 30 millimeter rendition. Also in stainless steel. It's a little bit difficult to find this in stock in any location, especially this rendition not sure as to why they made a limited edition maybe just to make a black one due to demand this is a flat black rendition so it's more of a soft black so this company right here i did a review on their primero which was the center airflow style dripper really had a good time with it very very large though very tall just the tip on the flip side of this a little bit of information for you holds about 17 mils of juice with chimney I'm sorry, uh, 17 milliliters. Spin top juice fill is gonna remind you of the Smoke Series 2 post configuration. I already had put this on the Block 22 just to kind of see and gauge the seriousness of this tank, but this thing is absolutely massive. I mean, even the deck. The deck is bigger than the diameter of, let's just say, a 24 millimeter dripper. Open it up and we are presented with this lovely lovely foot maybe uh, uh soda can the bottom of a bat huge oh my god for the peripherals on the side we got an extra frosted glass <laughs> i could use this for a penis ring for real like this is at well it wouldn't really be a ring now would it inner diameter is 34.39 30 millimeter rda inside of it like it's nothing do you see this uh how about the tank v3 which is a 30 millimeter it's like a shot glass it's huge whoa check that guy out i don't even see that comes with another drip tip and it comes with an o-ring of sorts and an extra grommet for the top and it looks like it even comes with little things that go on the bottom of the tank I'm not quite sure what would the use of this be. I guess you could argue and say it goes on the top of the tank, but I don't know why you would want to put 
that piece on the top of your tank. It's a piece of plastic. And there's multiple of them. What do you do with these things? What are these? The drip tip looks really strange on there. Just absolutely silly. Due to the way that that drip tip fits on there, to me in my mind it should be quite larger than that. For instance, look at my custom one on my Twisted Messes. It just makes sense. Although the port in the center isn't as big as the actual drip tip itself, it's only as big as the port that the drip tip is going into. And it's not compatible with Grenadie style. It is not. It's entirely too small. From the O-ring to O-ring it's 12.36, 12.55. Even using the large one that it comes with it looks a little bit better but it's still not proportionate to the size of the top of the tank to fill this tank you're gonna go ahead and swing that over you see that humongous hinge right there this thing weighs a lot really big port for filling really nice center chamber quite large a tank like this even this size this caliper is not gonna get hot airflow on the bottom this is where i get really thrown off because the size of the airflow on the bottom of this is just like the drip tip it just seems too small for what it is wide open through this drip tip it's so much air that i can't inhale quick enough for what it is that is all in fact one piece i'm not quite sure where this is manufactured but i'm gonna assume it's manufactured in china because it doesn't say anything about being made in the usa got their little vapor gate logo down there i don't know in due time how this Cerakote, I guess, if you will, or powder coat is going to hold up to citric acids being around this all the time. You usually don't see chimneys colored like this. They're usually stainless steel just in case, you know, paint chips off, whatever. People with really acidic juices sitting on this black, I feel like it's going to break that down. Do you see that where it's kind of heat treated? That's not really a juice. I thought that was going to be a juice in there, but your air ports on the bottom here are really massive. Your juice channels, post holes are going to be three millimeters. It's not any Anything too severe but they are really really far apart so if you're someone like me that uses micro fuse Clapton's this tank might be a, a mission for you just because of how far the posts are from each other I guess I'm gonna make like 22 feet of wire and then build a coil and I'll show you what I put in it but it is really massive it doesn't separate it is all one piece and machine very very thoroughly it weighs as much as five screwdrivers a VCR and an eight track tape back on top with the Mason dump tank 40 millimeter flat black limited rendition sitting on top of the block 22 I know someone's gonna say Jay you've, t you've taken it too far you're using too small of a device first off I'm here to tell you that no matter what I put this on this will not work I literally do not have a mod that can incorporate a 40 millimeter RDA, RTA, whatever. The most I got is probably like a 34. So I figured if I'm going to go one extreme of making the tank super fucking large, that I'll go the other extreme and making the mod super small. Clearly, you see that the tank is bigger than the mod itself. Uh, that doesn't mean I can't power it up though. So we're working at a 0.28 at 56 watts. God, that looks ridiculous. I know we've all seen people post pictures of shit like this, like the tank really big. I, I could have got like, uh, what's the really small one? The, um, the COV mini volt or the iStick 10. I could have used that because that's even smaller than this, but I needed the power. Let me show you some vape production. It's like a teeple topple, Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> Holy shit, am I fucking loopy? God, dog. Oh, oh my. Oh. Right, let's go over this tank. First off, you saw the deck. Look, I'm not going to sit here and bullshit you. You saw the size of this. You saw the dimensions. Absolute monstrosity. This is like sticking a baby fist in my mouth as I vape. That's how large this is. Maybe not even like a baby, like a dwarf or a gnome. Forget the bottom. I know someone's going to make a joke. You're trying to be funny. Jay. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I just, one extreme, other extreme. Why not? And it works. And I like this mod. So why not? I could see someone never using this never it's a little weird for me to put those baby ass coils in there i might as well have just done one wrap with like 38 gauge that's it 
38 gauge, one wrap, and a cotton ball worth of cotton in each well. What we have in here is a dual 28 with 34 on the outside. I should have probably done dual 22, 24 with 36 on the outside, making it a much larger coil to achieve the resistance that I'm at now. It's not a bad tank. It really isn't. If you could get past the size, but if you're already buying this tank, you're fully aware of the millimeter size of this tank just because it's part of the name of the tank. I promise you, you will not have a mod that this is going to fit on. I have a lot of mods behind me. I have a lot of mods in front of me, and I don't have one. Actually, I take that back. I do have a mod that can support this. The issue I'm going to have with this is this is the one that I got a really hard short. Chip's still good, but it's going to look ridiculous as a vape this. Get some batteries, some jimmies. Let's do this. You know what it'd be like? It's like carrying around Shaq's shoe in your pocket is what this would be like. This thing is, look at this. I can't even be serious. It's like I'm holding a champagne bottle. This thing is ridiculous. I can't remember this Apex, Apexy shoe. I don't, I don't remember the name of it, but uh, it literally fits right on that mod. Hi, I feel like I'm on acid. Wow, as you can see, the vapor production is the same as if it was on that block 22, which is that now I'm trying to compensate. If I can't compensate one way, you might as well compensate both ways. This is like the Ferrari or the Pinto of vaping is what I have in my hand. Would I recommend this device on a zero to 10? I'm just gonna hide my whole face behind this tank. That's how large this tank is. How would I rate this tank on a zero to 10? I'm gonna give it like a 6.5, a seven. I would go a little bit higher if it wasn't 40 millimeters. If it was 30 or 35, then I'd probably go to an eight. But for the realisticness of using this, I don't see anybody that would use this on a regular basis. The vapor production is extremely vast on this. Using this wide open is definitely not gonna be something that someone would wanna do. You could do it and get massive vapor production off of the tank and you have a humongous reservoir. There's one thing of being too small, hence the triple RTA holding so little bit of juice being a 28 millimeter. Then you have something like this being 40 millimeters holding like 116 milliliters of juice. But the flavor on this is absolutely extreme. Like it's, it's good. Everything is good with this, with the exception of the size, which is what makes this tank, this tank. And they say, dump tank, you're truly dumping your juice inside the tank. You have to find the shittiest liquid that you do not like anymore, dump it in this and run with it. Because if you get a leaking problem, uh, you're just gonna dump out your juice all over your hand because that's a big ass tank. This whole situation is just absurd. Okay, you asked. Okay. This mod is, is uh, eight inches, right? Not me. If we're gonna go with me, I'm gonna go with something like this. Three and a half, easy. Go back to that. This is what I'm talking, this is more my speed. And I've kept it real. Have you? Check this out. 